G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me. And you know what? I love it how our chickens and ducks can get to free range down the back here because they love it. But there are some drawbacks that I'm trying to fix, such as the entry and exit from our main coop. It works fine, it's great. You open the door in the morning and the chickens and ducks go out and free range all day. They're free to come in and out and you shut it at night when they go to bed. Keeps them nice and safe from predators. But unfortunately, this big gaping hole here is also excellent access for bin chickens. That's right, bin chickens. And also the crows. So the bin chickens go in and they eat the feed and they're big gutses. They eat a lot of feed and they're a big bird. And the crows, they come in, get into the nesting boxes, steal the eggs and eat the eggs. This cannot keep going on. And I know a way to fix it. So let's get into it. So the ibises, or we call them bin chickens, and there's a dozen different names for them here in Australia, they are a mongrel bird. They're cheeky, intelligent, they're big, which means if they get into the feed, they eat a lot, and they're persistent. So when they decide to target a food source, they hang around no end. Rubbish bins is where the bin chicken term came from, and then you've got places like this, a chicken pen, where up until a few months ago, we never had a problem with bin chickens because we didn't see any here. But once they found out that they could just walk straight in to the pen and eat some free feed, then they quickly learned there would always be a feed for them. So for the last few months, I'd been coming down here trying to chase them away and they'd be just sitting perched up here. You can see, even see where the poops are. Some of the poops been running down. They're just sitting up there waiting for me to open the door so that when I walked away, they could get in there and have a good feed. There we go, I've caught one in here <coughs> with my little trap. Now he's in a panic. See that? The old shovel across the door. There's some bushcraft for you. Now he was he saw me coming panicked and didn't know how to get out because the door wasn't open properly. Now what do you do, buddy? You're trapped in here. Ah! Hey? You gotta get past me. Ah! Let this be a lesson to you, buddy. I'll let you out. But yeah, yeah, and a lesson to you guys as well. That your mate could have been a goner if I was any worse a person, right? You got me? So you all thank your lucky stars that I'm not a mean bugger. Should strangle you with my own hands, really. There you go, come past me. Come on. You're not gonna get through the wire unless you're a super bird. Now bugger off, and don't come back. See us. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's right. Maybe they won't come back. Maybe they are that smart. Who knows? I doubt it. Free feed is too appealing, no doubt. Quickly after that, I noticed the crows following suit. But the crows, they didn't target the feed. They're not interested in that. Now the crows that have found out whenever a chicken lays an egg and the doors open, they know where to find the egg in there. And what they do is they've been coming in here when we're not down here, obviously. 
grabbing an egg and cracking it here on top of this convenient little coop a nice convenient area for them to crack an egg they can watch out for me coming down the hill as soon as they see me about up near the compost piles walking down they fly straight out same with the ibises but having the door ajar like this isn't optimal it's actually a poor fix really i'd like to keep that shut and that's why I got this set up, an automatic chicken door. It's made by Chicken Guard over in the UK. Now it's not sponsored. For the record, they did offer a sponsorship, but I knocked that back in lieu for a simple affiliate ship type arrangement, whereby I could get a little bit of a deal for you guys if you're interested in getting one of these. I'm only trialing this at this stage. I'm not over the board recommending it. Obviously, it has got some great recommendations already online, so I'm confident it's going to work and it seems to be working fine now. But I'll show you how I put it together first and how I retrofitted it to my bush poultry run and you can make your own mind up about it if you want to get one in the future. But if you do, there is an affiliate arrangement that I've worked out that would give you 5% off the purchase price. So that's a pretty cool deal and then I get a small kickback. But that's the only arrangement I've got and those details are in the description below. Most people get these automatic chicken doors for their coop because it's easier for them to let them out in the morning. So even just for that reason, to automatically let the birds in and out, right on cue, is perfect. But for me, I don't mind or never minded coming down and ducks don't always go to bed before nightfall. They will often be still outside the pen and I come down and round them up. The chickens will go back in the ducks sometimes do, but not always, maybe mostly, but still you have to come down and just double check. But the main reason wasn't for that convenience. The main reason that I wanted to get this door is to stop the bin chickens. The reasoning behind it is the bin chickens are a, quite a large bird and they don't want to get caught, of course. They're a wild bird. Same with the crows. This small hole here will make it difficult for the ibises to get through and it will spook the crows because they'll think it's some type of trap. That's what I'm thinking anyway. And definitely whenever I've had the door just ajar, they haven't gone in there, too scared to. We've had obviously ibises go in there, well one once, I haven't seen them back again, got a fair fright. A big door like this, they're able to fly straight out and they know it. But a small hole like that with a stump behind it, it's not as easy to navigate for a wild bird in a bit of a panic. And I think they'll know that. And that's why I'm reckoning that this will work. As far as assembly goes, this was pretty easy to assemble. Even for someone like me that is not that talented when it comes to building things. And I had to retrofit this to a pretty much unsquare chicken run. It, it looks probably square to you, but in reality, it slopes down and that post isn't exactly perpendicular. It's, it's okay, but yeah, I had to pretty much mash it together and this made it easy for me to adapt it to whatever. There's a thousand different ways you could set this up depending on the type of chicken coop or run that you have. Chicken runs can be made up of so many different types of materials and this can fit anything, which is a real plus. I found the materials to work with very easy, lightweight, goes together well, the instructions were good. I just had to build a frame first. Because I've had this wire mesh, I needed to make up the extra frame and that's what I did. Made a rectangular frame here just out of fencing posts that matched closely the posts that I already had made the front of this pen out with. Of course, I measured it out first up at the shed and just made sure I had the right width. But to be honest, I didn't do much measuring at all. Most of it was just by the eyeball method and by just putting this in place and finding out where I should put it. 
The only stipulation that they emphasise in the instructions is to make sure that you do have some wiggle room, you do have some play, because if you don't, this thing could tighten up and get caught because it's designed to stop if it catches a chicken or a duck that's stuck in the way. Likewise, if you've got these tracks that are too close together and make it too tight, depending on maybe weather, expansion, hot or cold, you might get this thing sticking and it will think that there's something underneath it and then you'll have the door stop. Once I had this screwed in place, all I did then was cut the mesh out, which wasn't hard at all. I just had some tin snips and then I did put an extra piece of wood right in here, just underneath there, so that when the door is closed, there wasn't a gap that anything could crawl through. We get snakes here, nice big snakes, and I didn't want them to be able to get in. Once that door was in place, it was just a matter of tying the cord to the door. And this particular door has a locking mechanism. It's the extreme model and it has a locking mechanism down the bottom so that when it's fully down, it has a couple of feet that come out automatically spring loaded and it locks into position so that door can't be prized open by say a fox or something like that trying to nose their way under. So that is another good feature for this is that it is locked down and it works on this spring loaded latch that gets pulled up and then it pulls the locking pins out as the door is rising up. So it's a really neat but simple design. Once I tied the retrieval or dropping cord to the door, it was then just a matter of programming the unit. I've got this unit to open at six in the morning. You could use it also as a light sensor when and, and it closes automatically and opens automatically depending on the light that it's seeing. I just did a timer thing and I've got it opening at six in the morning. It gets light at the moment through summer here about five and then it'll close at eight at night and that's pretty much dark then. And it gives the ducks time to get in as well if they are going to bed, which most of the time they do, like I said, but I'll still be coming down here anyway and just checking. I have to say programming this was dead set easy. One of the easiest things or timers that I've had to program in a long time. As far as operations go, I do like how the door goes up and down and the tracks are on the outside like this. It's vertical and I think vertical is important. You, there's other door openers or chicken automatic door openers on the market that work sideways. I'm not too sure about that. I just feel that I haven't got one, but I just have a feeling that that design where the door closes from left to right is susceptible to getting muck in the track, in the bottom track, maybe not the top track, but the bottom track because you've got chickens and ducks coming in and out. They poop, you know, at whenever they want. And sometimes it's right there. And I could just imagine that that track could get dirty and that could become a problem and get some blockages when it's closing sideways. I like the up and down much better. I think that is a superior design for this type of coop. At the moment, this is just an intro video on it. I intend to play with this for a lot longer, monitor it, watch it, see how it lasts, see what it's like. And then I'll be doing a second video, which will be a proper review on the product and let you know the ins and outs what I thought's good, what I don't think is great, and then I'll have a better opinion on it. Anyway, I'm pretty confident that this is gonna solve my bin chicken and crow problem. If it does or doesn't, I'll be certainly letting you know. And I've got cameras hidden around the place to make sure that I'm not getting diddled out of this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, bloody mozzies. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, an automatic rising thumbs up. And uh, uh, share the video around, of course, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Boy, I stumbled through that last bit, didn't I? It's the, it's the heat. See it beating off me? The humidity is ridiculous. We've had a lot of rain and uh, the sun's out now, the Savo, and boy, it's hot. Absolutely stinking. Anyway, cheers.